Hello, welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. So, in the last video, someone mentioned to me that I keep looking over here like this because I'm recording myself and I look at myself. <clears throat> Instead, I should have been looking at the camera lens, but I'll try to do that more often now. <laughs> it's weird not looking at myself, but I'll look at the camera lens. Okay, so this video, I will show you how to make this. I will show you how to make LED lighting or just the letter that fits into the casting like this. I'm not saying that my way is the best way to do it. This is how I do it and this has been working for me as you can see here. The result turns out really nicely. So what I'm about to show you is how I do it. Let's get right into the video. Okay, I use Fusion 360 to model my LED name or the marquee letter. So first off, I go and create a sketch right in the middle. Then I make a rectangle. So let's make it 10 inch by about five inches. So I make that rectangle. Then I go to create text. You can snap it to the corner here, but I don't want to do that because I want the text to be moved around. So I press control. I don't know what's the key for Mac, but I press Control on Windows and click as close to this origin as possible. Just go to the corners of the box. And now you can put in the text. You can put in whatever text you want. So for this example, as 3DP. So let's do that. Center it and you can pick how big you want the text to be. Do 70. I'm going to select this text because the letter gets better and it's easier to work with. <laughs> click Finish, Sketch and we can click extrude or you can go up to the create and click this block it's going to be extruding so we're going to this select the profile we only want the letter so i'm going to extrude the letter out by about let's do 50 millimeters what i do next is i move my s over to the three so that they clash into each other or they you know connects to each other now i move both of them you can press m or you can press the move up here and drag it to the left so that it touches with the D like this. Press enter or you can press OK on the right hand side corner. And now select all three of them. Press M for move and move them towards the P so that it connects like this. Press OK. So now I got all my letters connected together. I'm going to click create a sketch. You can click any of the letter surface. So I'm going to do S. Move it over. So now you need to get all these four letters into one sketch so how do you do that well you need to project them over so you can press p on your keyboard or you can go to create drop down project project right here i'm going to project three d and then p click ok so now i have all four letters projected to this one sketch so now i'm going to click this offset up here or you can press o on your keyboard press o i'm going to select the outer lines of the s like this and here's where you can decide how thick you want your outer cast to be. So for me, I'm going to do 3 millimeters for the S or basically for all of them. Press O, offset the 3 by 3 millimeter too. Press O, offset the D by 3 millimeters. You need to offset the middle part too. If you don't do that, it's going to be weird. So offset it by 3 too. Offset the P by 3. Same for the middle of the P. Offset it by 3 millimeters. So now we got the offset of all the letters. We can go ahead and extrude them right now. We can click finish sketch. You can press E or you can go up here in the create. Click on this extrude button or the drop down menu extrude we're going to extrude the outer surface of all of these letters so that we get the outer shield like this i'm going to select this part to make the full s the s2 so if you see that i'm making the full s right there select these two parts here so that i have the full s and then for the three i'll select this inner part between the three and the d i'll select this part this part and like that so that it separates the d from the three so now we can go over to the d and the p now i will select this part so that it connects the d with the p you will also want to select the inner parts of the letters too like d and p and e and stuff like that so now we got all of that we're going to extrude this i'm going to extrude it by about 100 millimeters i got my outer shield you can see straight through it make a sketch at the back and then i'm going to offset the center part up here i'm going to offset it by 1.5 millimeters i'll do the same thing for the in parts but i gotta project them first so press p offset the s negative 1.5 millimeters now we have 
finish that click finish sketch and we want to extrude all of this the offsets that we have created okay so now we got that this really depends on how um, high or how far you want your letters to pop out so i'm going to extrude it by about 50 millimeters so that it comes halfway through it so if you have a thicker led strip you can tape them on the bottom side here so i'm gonna do it at 50 millimeters press ok but as you can see here it's still like hollow or you can still see through it what we're gonna do is go back to the sketcher mine is a sketch 5 so click the eyeball to show it again this time i want to extrude this bottom portion here basically i'm extruding everything like this the middle in the parts i'm extruding everything here by you can either extrude it outward or you can extrude it inward for this purpose i'm going to extrude outward by just two millimeters this is just the bottom layer so i'm going to do two millimeters operation is join click ok now we can unhide the sketch over here and now we have a solid bottom and that looks perfect okay it's time to make the letters so how do we do that well it's very simple it's basically the same step over and over again so we can make another sketch at the front face here the outer face you want to make it on the outer face here so that it's easier so i'm going to do that you still need to project the inner parts of the of the letters so i'm going to do this part and that part for the d and the p click ok so right now we want to make another offset and this will be the letter some of you might say that why can't we just use the original letters that we made earlier because if you look at the three here it's a full perfect three but if you look at our shield three has this corner cut right here so if you do this it's not gonna fit and if you try to make that corner it's gonna be very complicated so we just basically hide original letters that we made earlier and we will create a new sketch so let's go back to the sketch that we just made now we're gonna offset the letters this will vary from printers to printers because each printer is different for tolerance mine i know that it can do a 0 0.1 millimeters tolerance i'm gonna do um 0 0.15 so that it just give an extra bit of room to work with so i'm going to do offset of 0 0.15 click ok and then offset for the three 0 0.15 also just do this for everything for the inner part to 0 0.15 offset okay so once we got our tolerance for our letter we're going to do one more offset so we're going to click o or you can click offset up here we're gonna click the s you cannot click the offset that you just made it will give you an error so click the original line that you originally clicked for the offset this will be on how thick you want your letters to be i'm just gonna make my letter one millimeter thick but since it's one 0 0.5 offsets already it will be one point one five millimeters offset for me press enter and do that for the rest of the letters 1.15 offsets you gotta zoom in sometimes okay 1.15 offsets for the d for the in the part you gotta zoom in find the original line and then 1.15 offsets we can finish the sketch now and what we want to extrude is only the inner part or inside the white line based on my setup right here so i'm going to click e for extruding click the inner parts here so that i get the letter only um, extrude for the d you want to do it in the inner parts too click that and that for the d and the p and everything and look at the side you can do that by press shift and your middle mouse button we want we know that extruding downward it will be about negative 50 to reach the bottom part we want to do that but we also want to make it pop out so we're gonna come to this box here the direction we're gonna click two sides and now we have two arrows so this really depends on how much you want your letters to be popping out like this so let's just we're gonna do about 20 millimeters for the letters to be popped out we want to make the operation here to not join we want to make a new body so that we can edit the letters easier click ok and now we made our letters at this point you can make a new sketch on this on the letters itself or you can go back to the previous sketch click that look at the front face here and we want to extrude the middle part here too 
so let's do that so that these letters are not like hollow like that so that it has a front face cover we're gonna do the same thing direction we're gonna do two sides so for the first arrow we're gonna extrude out about 20 millimeters so that it reaches the top surface of these at this point we can go ahead and hide the outer shell for me it's body 9 but you can find your outer shell so we're gonna hide that so that it's not in the way anymore if you look at the letter from this point all the way to this point it's gonna be 20 millimeters thick the second arrow and extrude this backward like this we're gonna extrude about um it's lagging a bit negative 18 millimeters okay at this point we can join them we can click ok we're gonna hide the sketch and we got our letters so if you want to know how thick this wall is you can click this measure up here click this face turn around click this face and if you look at the bottom right corner it shows two we can zoom in right here and it shows two millimeters we can make the body appear again and now we have a full model of the led names that we want it to be okay so at this point we can go ahead and hide all the letters we just need the auto shell now we it really depends on where you want the holes inside here to be so for me i make one hole right here right here and at the bottom and that's it so how do you do that well we need to go up here to the inspect select this section analyst and just click a face and we want to move this inward like this so that we have access to the middle here if you don't do that once we click sketch in this face here you can on the browser up here we're gonna hide the analysis it's gonna do that right so we can't even see what we're working with so that's a really good tool to do so now we have access to this face so this point it depends on how thick your led strip is um let's find the middle if you just go here you will find the middle with a triangle press this one for a construction line go about like 15 millimeters down i, I actually want to get past this line right here so i'm gonna project this line over so i know that that's the minimum points where i can extrude through this let's do a 20 millimeters box so 20 by 10 let's just do that 20 by 10 millimeters box so now we're going to click e extrude this extrude this outward so extrude this this way so that it goes through you can cut it so that you have a hole right there for you to put your led strip through it it really depends on how you want to mount your led so i'm just gonna go ahead and do all of the holes it's basically the same thing same thing for this one but this one has a curve so it's gonna be a little bit rougher we're gonna go to um constraint plane at angle click this line for the three and the s we're gonna do that angle and then we're gonna make a sketch here put the section view Put the section view all the way to the S in the 3 so that we have access to it. Project this face over. Now we're going to make a 10 by 20 square again. So go down by about 3 millimeters over 10 millimeters. And now make a rectangle 20 by 10. We can extrude this outward so that we have access here. For this one, we're going to extrude two sides like this and we made a hole let's go oh boy this video is gonna take a long time we can get rid of the section view and look at this we got three holes that we can route our lines through it depends on where you want to put your remote or the connection for me i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it in the p here i'm gonna make a sketch like right here just make as big as possible for this you gotta measure your LED controllers how big or how thick your wire is but let's just do this for the example here extrude this hour and that's where we can route our lines in and we are basically finished at this point you can go around and fill it on the corner to make it look more pretty so that it's not sharp corner you can go up here click fill it or f fill it and just fill it all the sharp angles by about one to two millimeters i feel like how thick your wall is you need to fill it that much so uh, my wall is three millimeters thick so i'm gonna fill it three millimeters and you can just go ahead and do that with the rest of your build with the rest of your model here do three millimeters for the offsets do three millimeters for the fillets and it's gonna look great make sure if you do it for the outer shield you gotta do it for the letters too if you don't do that it's not gonna fit so three millimeters there and if you look at it 
it fits perfectly so at this point if you don't want to waste like nine hours printing the back shield and you want to test your tolerance um click the whole body click split body up here select the splitting tool i'm gonna select this plane right here press ok so it split all the letters i i'm gonna hide the main body and now i only have one letter i did this and i tested this out first before i print everything because you don't want to print nine hours and it doesn't fit so go to the file click 3d print i learned my lesson so hard in the past i keep clicking export and it takes a long 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 time to export just one piece so i just recently learned this you click 3d print and then you click the model you want to 3d print on default this box here will be checked like this so you don't want to do that unless you want to but for me i don't want to do that i uncheck this box then i select ok name it you can name it and this will only be selectable as a stl file and then you can click this three dotted button here your file will pop out and you can save it wherever you save your 3d modeling let's go back to where i show you my 3d models where i print this p and test fit it okay so like i said i print out my i print out my p here and right there i print out the letter p with it so this is how I test fit the parts before I print this whole auto shield. So print this and I test it. And it just slide in perfectly like that. So now I know that if it's perfect, I can go ahead and print this whole thing out without having a failure that, oh, it doesn't fit and I got to reprint everything again. So this is a really good way to do it. I really spent two hours printing this, then nine hours printing this and it doesn't fit. So once you do that and make sure that it fits, you can go ahead and print out the whole thing, print out all the letters and just make it like this. If you don't want the letter to be popping out, you can super glue it or whatever glue you want to do it. But yeah, that is pretty much it of how I made these 3D letters using a 3D printer, using a 3D modeling program, making everything 3D in real life. Wow, that took a while. <laughs> um, I've been trying to record this fusion thing for like one hour now and i actually finally did it but yeah so yeah that is basically how i made this um led name if you haven't seen the video of me assembling this together i will leave a link down below or you can click the video right here sometimes you just gotta mess with the tolerance you just gotta mess with how you want to assemble the 3d name just mess around with it and you will definitely find a good way to do your 3d letters this is how i do it i'll see you next time and as always Keep on printing.